This is Anderson Benz, <laughs> podcast episode 230 for Wednesday, May 24th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen. <laughs> I, Just, uh, you know, they were playing ABBA last night. Really. Who was? Uh, Eric and Steph were playing ABBA. Okay. I think it was ABBA. I'm sure it was ABBA. <sighs> anyway, All right, it's a well. gloomy Wednesday. Um, it's chilly. They've torn up our street, so we're walking in the dirt uh, <laughs> on the way to work. <laughs> I think it's time to go back to bed. That's what I think. Um, but uh, anyway, we, uh, we've had a, an interesting week since we were here last. We went on Saturday to Milwaukee to the memorial service for Susan Worth. Um, you know, we didn't know her well, and it was amazing the things that um, we, we learned about her. I knew she'd been in radio. I knew that she had done other things, but was really, uh, I was really amazed at all the different things that she had done. It's like she had some, several very different careers. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I had no idea that she played, was it the bassoon? Uh, cello, bassoon. And piano. And piano, yeah. Amazing. And probably half a dozen other. Yeah. Uh, so it was really kind of, mo- I cried. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't was, think I'd was, cry. It was very touching. It was a, a good turnout. Uh, several people spoke. Um, lots of tears, lots of laughter. Typical memorial service. Um, I'm glad that we went um, I think it was good for, for John, and um, uh, it, was, uh, it, it, was, it was worth the, the time and effort to go. It was good to, to be there for John. Yeah, yeah. Her, her table was all set up. Which was really it sad. Was sad. All the banners. To, to see the, the banners hung and the, the table... Um, the table all set up just like being at a pen show. And for one second, I'm like, wait, we don't have anything in the back of the car, so it's not a pen show. And how the heck did Susan get set up so quickly? Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'll be very odd moving forward to, to not see her at shows with yeah. her cart that she would acquire. I don't know if she'd borrow it or steal it, um, that she'd use to move her stuff around and... Uh, going barefoot and uh, cleaning pens at the end of the shows and, and all the, the different things that she does, um, did at shows. So it was, it was sad. Yeah, everything was there. Her head, visor, her table, everything. So it was just... It, it was good. But yeah, it was well yeah, done. It was, it was well yeah. done and, um, you know, nice reception. Mm-hmm. Plenty, plenty, of, plenty of pen folks there. Lots of and, people. Um, so, uh, all right. Um, we had an interesting conversation yesterday uh, with somebody here at the uh, in the store area about uh, doing some calligraphy classes. We've had dozens, plural, dozens of people ask us uh, over the three plus years that we've been open. Um, are we going to offer calligraphy classes? And our, our answer has always been, we would love to if we could find someone qualified, and we are certainly not qualified. Nope. No way, no how. This is, uh, this is my writing. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've, we've looked into it, but uh, never found anyone who was good enough or could do more than just, you know, a little chat or whatever. Uh, so it was... Um, it was a good meeting yesterday. I think we'll be putting something up on social media, um, kind of uh, feeler for, um, it would probably be like a 10 week class, which may be uh, perfect for some people, yeah, maybe a yeah. bit of a commitment for others. So we're just trying to get a, a feel for uh, what the local people might have in mind. I was originally, you know, it's not, not exactly what I was, I, I had not envisioned that. I was thinking you know, along the lines of at the show, you know, Deb gives her, four-hour class or something like that. Uh, but the 10-week 10, 10 class would be interesting because it takes you through an entire book. And um, so if nothing else, it forces you to, to be committed. Um, but uh, Ziza wants to see more of your pad. 
Quote yeah, no. bad. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What's is there anything on here that I can't? Yeah, here's here's my pad, Aziza. Sorry, there's no it's much. a big mess. It's a big mess. You that's that's one mine. of them. I have a pile of them. You should see mine. Um, yeah. So I, I think uh, there's a lot of potential, and just having someone local who. Um, might be able to teach a class or, or design a different class from what she's used to teaching, perhaps. So uh, I'm encouraged that we might actually make this happen. Yeah, so uh, any of you local folks, uh, if you're interested, um, be sure to, to, to stay tuned. Uh, the local Appleton Pen Club page, uh, as well as the regular Anderson Pens page. But um, we need at least... Five. five people, and it's limited to eight. So five to eight people for the class to happen. Um, and uh, we'll have more details uh, as they develop. So we have to get, get the supplies together and make sure we have everything ready because um, you'll need a book and you'll need certain supplies. So but um, so anyway, that was, that was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? You want to talk about some new stuff? Yes. Uh, so craziness, Lammy yeah, petrol. We can, we should, we should expound on this a little bit, right? So this came out originally. It's been a while now, a couple months. Yes. Since we first got, we first got our first batch of petrol. I was less than happy with <laughs> how this rolled out. I think it's safe to say that. Um, I. I I don't know if it was that the demand was so high, if the supply wasn't thought through well enough, um, but uh, the first order that we placed was for a boatload of ink, cartridges, and a bunch of pens. And the first order we received was extra fine and medium, but no fine nibs, no fine nib pens at all. And it was like that for, what, a month? At least. More? Yeah, more than a month. Um, and we went to several shows. Then, later, the cartridges arrived. And then, just recently, everything else... And in the meantime, we'd placed a second order. Uh, in the, and then everything shipped. The ink from the first order, the fine nibs from the first order, and then everything from the second order, and that's it. There is no more ink, yep. period. Yeah, I know some people were maybe a little less than happy, but we, we, we limited it to one bottle um, per person because it was just, there was, there was more demand than there was supply. Uh, we wanted to make sure that everybody was able to get at least a, a bottle if they wanted. Um, and I think that worked out fairly well. well. I mean, I know sometimes people like to get, you know, two or three, but if you have... You know, a hundred people buying three bottles each. Um, there goes a lot of what we yep. get, and yep. then that leaves you know not nearly as much for the rest of everybody. So we we try to make it a little more fair. Uh, but it's really frustrating. Just so you all know, it's frustrating as a retailer. Um, no matter how much you order, you know, dark lilac was just crazy. And it, it came in, it was so popular, it blew out, and that was it. You couldn't get any more. And keeping that in mind, we ordered even more of the petrol because it looked like a cool color. Mm -hmm. um, and even that wasn't enough. And I'm grateful we got our second order, but then that was it. So it's just really frustrating that they, they don't tell you that they're only making 5,000 bottles or whatever they made. Um, or that it's only going to be available through this date. Uh, sometimes the colors linger. Yeah, if anybody's interested in, uh, what is it, uh, charge green, uh, <laughs> get on the phone now. one 920 uh The phones are available, the lines are open. <laughs> We're taking callers. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you can't forecast this stuff. Um, you, it's, can, you can order as many as you think you you would be able to move and then you bump it up a little bit more because yeah. this may be the only time you get it but it just seems like they're they're cutting it off closer and closer yeah and you know you think the pacific blue comes out and you think that's going to be a really cool color and then it was and the you, same find out damn it's a, color it's the same same color as uh, as turquoise you know so 
what are you going to do? I, I, there, there's, there's not much you can do, and uh, you just kind of have to. I, I know there's some talk on forums, people saying they're going to they're going to boycott Lamy, and it's like, well, that's just kind of silly. I think. Yeah. You know, you, you can only do what you can do, and uh, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. You know, if they want to make a 50th anniversary. Uh, 2000 and, and make it a shade darker than the stainless steel, then that's their prerogative and that's what they're going to do. It was disappointing. Um, it was disappointing. Yeah, we were all disappointed. Um, could they have done anything? You know, <laughs> so I, 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 I don't... Blue. That well, yeah, blue cool. would have been cool. You know, dark blue, I, I don't expect them to, to make a, a transparent 2000. Yeah, that would be cool, but um, I know a lot of manufacturers don't like to do trans, certain transparent pens because there are certain things that just don't finish well. Right. You know, maybe they glue a piece in instead of threading it or whatever, and it just doesn't look good transparent. It, you think it's going to, but anyway, um, you know, it is what it is. Don't, you know, boycotting Lamy doesn't do any any good. It just... just. But maybe write to them and just yeah, express absolutely. your unhappiness with uh, how quickly it it was no longer available. Yeah, um, we, didn't, we didn't have it for four hours, and it, maybe. You know, it, was it wasn't gone. like we ordered a dozen bottles. Mm -mm. So no, this was um, this was quite a bit. We're as frustrated as you are. Yeah. So, because um, we, you know, we always keep a bottle for ourselves, and we almost couldn't do that. So, but but the pens. Let's let's get let's talk. I got a pen on the screen here for the last five I, minutes. I like the color. Um, I like it a lot. I like teal. Um, it's really a dark teal. It's very dark. It's not really. It's a, a little darker yeah. than I, I like. Um, I love it. It's, it's really? got a texture to it. Yeah, I do. It does. I, I, it has... It's got a cool texture to it. It reminds me of the very first Safari. Mm hmm The terracotta. The ter well, the terracotta and the... The uh, olive green. The olive, yeah, what was the name for it? I can't think of it. Safari. Hey, and Safari green, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's got some texture similar, uh, those of you who are newer to Lamy, similar to the um, dark lilac or the charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, it's got Just a little texture Just enough to texture it. that it makes it not slippery in my hand, and I like that a lot. The black clip is cool. See, I'm not a fan of the black trim. Okay. But well, I think I think chrome trim on this would look made it look weird. It it's such been. a dark color. It maybe. Chrome I trim would have. I, oh, I like it. I think All it's right. it's cool. I, I agree. I'm not always a big fan of of, of black coated trim because eventually it does chip. It can. It can chip. Yeah, you know, especially if you're. You know, if it's an inexpensive pen and you're throwing it in your purse or it's in your, you know, it's in with your keys or it's in with, you know, whatever. Um, <gasps> you put it in with your keys? No, no, no. Well, in All your right. pocket, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, great looking pen. We still have the pens left. Um, we've got a few. A, a few of them left, yeah. So. Did I take mine? Uh, you did. I did. It's, yeah, okay. I've been, it's, yes. it's sitting at home on, yes. the, uh, on the coffee table. No, it's, it's pretty. I like it a lot. Um, I like the Pacific Blue All-Star that came out just before this. I think that's a, a pretty color. This one is definitely um, different. I like it a lot. You know, usually I like the last few years, I've liked the All-Star better because, you know, the you know, the options they came out with for Safari were, you know, green, green, green. This is green. Uh, well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I love the not dark a, They weren't good greens. They weren't good pretty. greens. Uh, and this year, I have to say, I like the Safari better than I like the uh, the All Star. I mean, the, the Pacific Blue is nice; it's a nice color, but it doesn't, you know. Yeah. Um, this one I really like. So. Although I have to get mine back from uh, Jason. Apparently, he's determining how durable it is. The Pacific. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure oh, what that means. Get over there, <laughs> noob noob. Um, all right. So, uh, also this week, um, you know, there's been some talk about Delta, so we should talk about Delta. So I've got this beautiful. Uh, Dolce Vita oversize here on the screen. So what's the talk about Delta? Well, the talk about Delta is it's getting hard to get Delta. And uh, we don't, nobody really knows the scoop that's going on, but uh, um, acquiring Delta product is is more difficult and more difficult. So things are going on in Italy. Um, but we've got a bunch of it, and we have a bunch of it marked down. We have a lot of it. We have a lot of Dolce Vitas. We even have pencils and rollerballs and ballpoints. We have all the, all the weird stuff. How does that make you feel? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're going to have, if you're going to have a pencil, uh, you know, that Dolce Vita oral pencil is pretty cool. I got to admit, <laughs> I, I got to admit it's cool. Uh, my favorite of course, and this one is kind of on the short list. 
Uh, so they make short list. Well, you know, it's not really a short list anymore, but. Um, oh, the list of pens I want for some <laughs> holiday that's now stretching into 2018. It's list? not stretching into 2018 yet. Are you sure? Yeah, I know. First world problems. Uh, so the, the <laughs> standard Dolce Vita is black cap, black section, black end cap with that beautiful orange on the barrel. Um, and those come in a couple of different versions. They're all sterling silver trim. So a true Dolce Vita has sterling trim. Or has Vermeil, sterling gold mm -hmm. plate over sterling silver. Which I like. Yeah, it's really, it's really quite attractive. Um, my favorite in the line is the Oro. Yes, and I bought you one years you ago. You did. I have an Oro piston. Which Valentine's? Only, uh, I believe it was Valentine's because you bought it at the L.A. show for me. Um, the piston only comes in midsize. does not come in oversize. Oversize is only cartridge converter. Uh, I've got the oversize on the screen here. But my opinion is if you're going to have an orange pen, make it orange. Big. Uh, big orange. And every time I use this Bold. pen, it, it, it just makes me happy. It makes me smile. Um, it is so, so, so pretty. Um, and it has that vermeil trim um, and a nice big gold gold nib. It's just it's gorgeous. Uh, and and we, have, we have oversized. We have midsize. Like I said, we've got rollerballs, ballpoints, pencils, and like every, uh, pretty much everything. Nib choice is a little bit limited, but it is what it is, right? And the newest member of the Dolce Vita family is what they call the masterpiece, which came out about what about a year, about a year and a half ago now. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's um, been a while. Kind of a combination of the two. You've got the you've got the orange from the the standard Oro, but you've got some black kind of swirled in there. Um, you know, matching section and end cap. Uh, the in, in every piece is completely different. So, um, you know, the the end cap on here looks more black than anything, but there is some orange in it. Um, again, sterling silver trim. You've got a gold nib. Um, you know, if you, if you don't want something that's completely orange, this is a this is a nice uh, nice piece, nice little mix. Um, it has a little bit more of a taper to it too. Yeah, yeah. On the on the barrel end. No, I thought that it was uh, a good option when they came out with it, mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. otherwise you either had all orange or just a lot of solid orange and black, mm -hmm. and now you've got a little bit of a... Nice marble, yep. if you feel like the marble look. Uh, the other thing, too, about, about the Masterpiece uh, is you can get it with the Fusion nib. Hmm. Okay. So at a lower price point, you can get, uh, which is the, the steel nib with that 18-carat um, piece on top of the nib. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of marketing uh, behind that. But, you know, it's an it's attractive-looking nib, and they write very well. Uh, Dave and I both have Fusion 82s of that nib, and they're really very smooth writers, really nice. So you can you can get that on, on the uh, on the Masterpiece. So that's kind of cool. What else you got? What else I got? You know, I the next pen. He got, wants one. I, and this is really nice. This he is wants one. This is really, really well done. Um, Conklin has had their crescent filler for a while now. Um, rebirth of the, the original from, you know, the early part of the 20th century. Um, some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, vintage collectors, you know, you love it. It's got the, you know, it's got that protrusion off the side, the crescent, you, which you press down to compress the, and it acts as a pressure bar too. It's one piece which compresses the sack, pushes the air out, fills the ink. Um, this is a knockout of the park. This is pretty. This vintage this was green, really well done. green and black marble matching section. Oh man, yeah. it's, it's gorgeous. That two tone nib on there is is beautiful uh, for the fines and mediums. It's it's super nice. And and what, what boggles my mind is this is priced lower than the standard black model. And I think this looks ten times better. This is nice. I like this one a lot. Um, Colors great. Um, I'm not a, a huge uh, vintage filler fan. It's just too much work for me. But <laughs> I'll, I'll admit it. Yeah, yeah. But I think this is just really well done. Um, looks great. And uh, I think the, the Conklin nibs are nice. Yeah. And uh, they're number six. So, and they come a fine medium stub, 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, but since it's number six, you can replace it with, you know, Anderson, uh, Yovo, extra fine, 1.5, broad, whatever you want, we'll, we'll, we'll slip right in there. Um, I love I love the clip on these pens. You can grab it from the top and one hand and put it in your pocket. Um, you know, and, and we should we should mention we should mention the filling system, right? So it's uh, cool. 
it, it is cool. You turn the lock ring, you press down on the, the bar a couple times. It is more difficult to clean. Yes, yes. I think that's why I don't like to use some of my vintage uh, Estabrooks and such because they are harder to clean. Yeah, you just like to be able to take them apart, put them in the ultrasonic, put them out of the faucet, clean them, flush them. Or just them. hand it to you. Or she hands them to me, and then Here, I go down and clean I clean me. them. clean uh, me. Yeah, the, the, these are more difficult to clean. Um, you know, the nib units on these are friction fit because they line up with the crescent. So when you're holding it, the crescent is always up. It doesn't go into, you know, it doesn't hit your, hit your finger mm -hmm. um, or your thumb. Um, so it's friction fit, so it's not really, I don't recommend pulling it. But, yeah, you're going to have to sit there and you're going to have to fill it with water or pen flush um, and let it sit and kind of rock it back and forth to clean it. It's a little, little more time intensive um, than your, uh, your average pen. But you know what? The looks on that pen, I just, it's great. It's really a nice, nice acrylic. I can't. I wish they would do other pens in that acrylic. So we need to set something aside for you? Maybe that could I be know, your Father's no, Day. No, 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 no. Well, we're, we're, we're good for Father's Day, <laughs> I think. Um, I'm just saying it's a good looking pen at, at, a, at a really nice price. So. Okay. Um, uh, let's talk about a couple other things really quickly. Okay. Um, we just got restocked in the really awesome, super popular Atoya Petite Journals. Those are great. Those are nice, you know, and I found myself over the weekend wanting one. I was like, you know, it would have been great to have one. Um, I don't remember got, what it was. I just remember thinking, well, that would yep. be great to have one now. Just got restocked in that. Uh, we have a number of new Robert Oster colors that have been mailed to us, so they're on the way. We're excited about some of those. Um, some really cool colors. Um, and what else came in this week? Is that about it? We got restocked in a bunch of stuff, so mm -hmm. um, check the check the website and see what's uh, lots of lots of life. Life is back. Mm -hmm. um, we we've moved a couple things to the closeout, so check that too. Um, yeah, but, I don't know, it's uh, just been kind of kind of busy doing. Uh, it was nice to have most of the month of May at home to get a lot of stuff done, um, making some. Changes to the website, adding some things to the website. Mm -hmm. Yep. It never ends. So, uh, anything else we want to talk about? We talked about the calligraphy class. That's uh, we are going to be closed. Is it this Memorial coming Day. week? Yeah, this closed next on Monday. Monday. Yep, so, if you are closed. local, the store is closed. If you are not local, the website is open. Oh yeah, always twenty four seven. Um, we never close. We're actually. Oh, we might actually come in and pack for Raleigh. <laughs> Dang hmm. it. <laughs> well, maybe we'll try and do that on Sunday. I'm, I'm sorry, they're doing road construction. I can't get out of the, I can't get out of the <laughs> driveway. Go. Sorry. There you go. Um, uh, at home, let's see, personal things. At home, we've um, they've torn up our road and our sidewalk and the apron to the driveway. So it's every day it's um, interesting to come home and see what the construction guys have done or not done. Um, and that's about it. Yep. Uh, all right. Well. Uh, I think that's it for this week. Let's see. Eric in the chat wants to know oh. if we're going to continue to carry the journals. Which journals? Uh, Eric, if you're talking about the uh, Atoya Petite journals, yes. Um, as it gets closer to um, D.C., just shoot us an email and, and double check. But uh, they're a, a new thing for Atoya, and we absolutely will be stocking them permanently. Yeah. yeah. If you know, if, you're, if there's any question, just go ahead and... Uh, Place the well, order. Place order for show pickup. And they're super cheap, too. Like two yeah. bucks for the, the medium the and a buck and a half for the small. I mean, it's, I, I hesitate to call it big because it's, it's pocket size. Uh, I guess it's pants pocket and shirt pocket is what, yeah. <laughs> what we should call it. So, oh, the Delta Journals? Yeah. Oh, um, Delta Journals. Those have been discontinued. Yeah, they're, they're very, very difficult to get right now. Uh, what we have is pretty much what we're going to have. Um, so uh, give us a call and, and, and talk to us. Uh, we have very limited stock right now. So most of the, in fact, almost all Delta on the website is on sale, uh, except for the journals because they're already fairly inexpensive. But um, so yeah, if there's something you're interested there, uh, give us a call and we'll, we'll see if we can't make it. If we if we don't have what you're looking for, we can make it pretty much. So. I think that's it. All right, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of other fun stuff, including our newest segment, what do they call it, Nib Noobs? 
<laughs> yes. I think yes. Nim Noobs <laughs> with Kim and Jason. Uh, and check us out on social media as Anderson Benz. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.